hello guys you are welcome back to my youtube channel it's vixen tech so guys in today's tutorial video we'll be creating this awesome birthday flyer before i proceed any further i would like to show something okay we have a graphic design community and in this community we are focused on improving and growing your skill as a graphic designer that birthday flyer you just saw was created because someone requested for it in the community so i encourage you to join our community so that you can grow and improve your skill as a graphic designer lastly i want to invite you to our webinar that will be taking place next week and the topic is improve your creativity as a creative i would like you to join our webinar and also join this graphic design community so without further ado let's dive into the So guys, this is my Pixel Lab. I've launched to my Pixel Lab. Now, let's change the background to white. Beautiful. Click on import. This is the background. Click on the good icon. Now stretch it. Yes, make sure it covers your Canva. Position it well. Okay, this is okay. Now duplicate it. Yes, delete the one behind, then centralize this other one. For us to centralize it properly, we have to use relative position. That is okay. Okay, now click on this icon below the three dots, lock your background. Beautiful. Let's import the images of the celebrant. Let's import the first image yes click on your good icon stretch it okay this is okay just leave it there copy it delete the one behind then place it at the center okay this is okay okay now click on the icon below the three dots lock it Let's import the other one again. Yes, click on your good icon. Bring it down, stretch it. Okay, click on this icon. Bring it down. Okay, beautiful. Okay. Okay, adjust it, then reduce it a little. Bring it down, bring it down again, okay, it is okay there. You know, when designing, you have to be very calculative, okay, copy it, yes, click on this icon, take this down, okay, place it there for now, okay. This is okay. Now click on this first one. Go to opacity. Reduce the opacity to 40. This other one. Reduce the opacity to 40. Okay, this is okay. Beautiful. Now, we need to cover those sharp edges. This is what I'm talking about. This sharp edge. And this other one. So how do we achieve that? Please pay keen attention to what I'm about to do now. Click on shape. Increase the radius. Reduce the opacity. Increase the stroke width. Increase the blur radius, then reduce it. Okay, click on the good icon. Now stretch it. Bring it down. Copy it again. Place it here. Just follow me carefully. Follow me carefully. Click on this icon below the three dots. Bring it down. Just drag it down drag this other one down hope you can see what we've done 
we have been able to cover the sharp edge. Now the next thing I want us to do again is for us to duplicate that shadow again. Copy it. Place it here. Yes, leave it there. Now click on this icon. I want you to lock the three shadows. Just lock it for now. We are going to write happy birthday. So go to your A icon, go to text, click on edit. Write happy. Okay. Click on OK. Bring it down. Go to color. Change the color to white. Beautiful. We'll be using a special font for this write up. And the name of the font is Pepsi. Yes, this is the font we are going to use. So stretch it a little, then place it here. Yes, just place it there for now. Okay. Now I want you to duplicate this right up. Bring it down. Go to edit. Write birthday. In case you don't know how to install font into your Pixel app, I'm going to drop a video in the description below that will help you to install any kind or any type of font into your Pixel app. Okay, that is okay for now. Take this upward a little. Leave it there. Now the next thing I want us to do is for us to lock all the images including the background okay if you've done that wonderful so the next thing i want us to import is this stuff click on your good icon now rotate it yes place it here reduce it a little okay rotate it a little then place it here beautiful and the next thing i want us to do again is for us to duplicate it then bring it here but this time around i want us to flip it a little yes then place it here beautiful so guys the next thing we need to do is to write the date of our birthday so click on shapes increase the radius click on the good icon reduce the shape okay reduce it again this is okay now go to color enable it this is the particular color we are going to use you can pick the color from our clothes this is how you do it click on this click on the celebrant then pick the color yes that was how i got the color beautiful now duplicate that image go to color again this time around we'll be using a white color so reduce it okay now you are going to use your eye now to to do this one okay now go to position reduce it a little so let's position it well okay bring it down okay this is okay now for this other shape behind go to relative size let's reduce it a little okay it's okay that way now the white shape let's position it properly go to position take it up okay bring it down a little okay, this is much better now now click on this happy go to your a icon copy it 
click on edit right fifth this way okay now go to color again change it to this color place it here reduce it okay now go to position let's position it okay just leave it there go to size let's reduce the size okay and this is okay now go back to position instead of using your hand you can use the position to to arrange everything okay this is okay now go to copy click on edit september s e p then dot beautiful go to position bring it down okay move it reduce it okay take it up a little then bring it down a little i think this is perfect let's adjust the september a little so go to position bring it down a little uh, this is perfect now let's write the name of the celebrant so click on test click on edit mercy chingwo blessed i don't know if you know mercy but her songs have blessed my life in no small way and i will encourage you to listen to her songs Okay, now go to color. Let's give it a white color. Beautiful. Now go to font. We'll be using a peculiar font for our name. Yes. What font are we going to use now? Let's use Sigzel. Yes, Sigzel regular. So reduce it. Okay. Reduce it again, then place it here. Bring it down a little. Beautiful. Now let's bring in one other thing. Go to import this stuff. We're using this stuff. So this is how we are going to do it. We are going to crop some side out. Yes, crop this part out. Click on the good icon. Okay, then rotate it. Just need a few of these things to appear. Okay, this is okay. this is okay now click on this stuff copy it then bring it down place it somewhere here okay as you can see there's a sharp edge around here so go to eraser yes so i want you to erase this part out increase it erase this side then erase this other side okay you see it it's no longer obvious so it's okay this way okay so if you are done go to save save as project mercy i have some of our designs on my phone Mercy Chingwo blessed. Okay. So if you are done saving as project, remember to save as image. So we change it to ultra. 
then save to gallery. Now the next thing we need to do is to edit the image. So let's go to Snapseed. Okay, this is the design, beautiful. So click on pop. Wow, this is beautiful. So click on the good icon. Go to tool. Go to tune image. Increase the brightness a little. Go to contrast. Increase it a little. Then go to ambience. Increase it a little. Okay, this is okay. Click on the good icon. Go back to two, go to details, increase the structure. Let it not be too much. I think 30 is okay. Let's leave it at 30. Sharpening. Okay, this is okay. This is okay. Then click on the good icon. Then click on export. Export as JPEG. So guys, one last thing before I draw this tutorial to a close. Remember to join my WhatsApp community. I'm going to drop the link in the description. And don't forget to join us this Friday for this wonderful webinar that is going to happen on the 2nd of October. I would like you to mark the date on your calendar because it's going to be a wonderful moment. And I wouldn't like you to miss it for any reason. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in my next video. See you on the 2nd of October.